you know, that must have been spooky and scary. I mean, if I had something like that come on over me, besides all the dreams I had or nightmares or past life recall, and then the traumas, I don't know how I would have handled that on top of it. Go on. It was spooky because when I went to my family, they said, oh, you got this real big imagination, which I do. You know, I have a real creative and stuff. So that was their thought was I was imagining all this stuff. But like I, I saw the hand and I remember my sister, because we used to watch, you know, Saturday Night Horror movies, Creature Features. Remember how those all those B movies? Those crazy B movies. I and, do. Um, I do. There are some stuff. I wouldn't watch, and my mom wouldn't let me. Yeah. <laughs> and I saw a shadow man walk uh, outside of my window, just just walk by that night. And again, oh, you saw the movie. You're just freaking. You know, you're just freaking out and all this. But um, yeah, I have seen shadow people all my life. In fact, once I started investigating the paranormal, which was 18 years ago, I've been doing this. Um, we were on a case up in Georgetown. And uh, it was with the newspaper. They were doing a story on us. Uh, 